This Dakar was brutal. I feel like there was no time to have a break. In the morning, sometimes I did not particularly want to go out and drive. You put yourself on the mixers for five hours. This is the toughest motorsport event on the planet. On the 48 hour stage, I, I was in the same bivouac with most of the Dakar legends, so it was for sure really, really cool. I saw Sebastian Lepp, David Castera was there, and I saw Carlos Sainz. Yeah, it was really beautiful to sleep under the stars and uh, have a camping experience. So those two days was for sure my favorite. The way how she conducted everything throughout these 48 hours. No mistakes, peak performance, seven plus hours a day. Extraordinary. I think the worst would be the stage 11. And we saw the cars, everyone, when they came back, their cars barely came back. Evil. Everybody was out. But I had a really good support with my, my father and David, so they, they for sure helped me a lot on the, on the hard days. <laughs> All the manufacturers, all the legends, all the big names, over 30 professional racing drivers, more than 20 another semi-professional drivers, and the field of uh, almost 80 cars is truly ultimate. And Alia succeeded, and she's been carrying the flag of Bagheera really high. Very fast, Alia. Yeah, she's good. She drove uh, incredibly with the fighting spirit, with the leadership in the team. She's been truly amazing. And based on the fact that we are racing non-turbo car, we couldn't wish more to get out of this Dakar. And 200 meters, it's a 90 degrees right now. Seb Delona is one of the best things that happened to us, because now Seb will be staying with Alia all the seasons. They are really objective, really professional, and uh, I believe they have a great chemistry in the car. About the team, I have to say, I have to give a compliments to all, all the team members. They've been working hard uh, like, like one body. They've been helping each other with incredible spirit and uh, incredible dedication. And I, I'm really proud. I'm really proud of this team. My goodness, the team was top. I love my team. We love, yeah, thank you. Thank you. My father, of course, he's the one who supports me the most. A part of him, David, is the biggest help for me. He gives me most advice and he's always there to help me and it's my number one guy. <laughs> yeah, this year I, we, we made it to the finish line, so it's good with the, with the result and I'm happy to finally get the medal. The break is going to be a little short because I have a rally in, in two weeks. So uh, I'm gonna be on the beach, read with a good book, spend some time with family. Not gonna think about racing until I'm gonna need to. I would believe that cross-country rallying is the most demanding sport on the mental overall. I would compare that to tennis. If you're playing the match point, most of the players are getting under certain pressure, but the drivers of the cross-country rally, they are under such pressure seven hours a day. To handle such kind of pressure, improve yourself, going through the pain, recovering from downs, enjoying the ups, this whole package you need to have, and uh, Alia seems to have all the necessary components to become the big driver in one day. Now Alia will, be, will start the testing program with New Turbo Car, and we are facilitating all the synergies uh, between Bagheera and Redline. I can see a really bright future ahead.